During armed conflict, the rights of older people are often violated. Human Rights Watch found that government forces and non-state armed groups have abused the rights of older people in countries all around the world. In many cases, older people have been executed, indiscriminately attacked, detained, tortured, raped, and had their property and communities destroyed. In Ethiopia, in August and September 2021, Tigrayan forces briefly occupied Chenna village in the Amhara region where they committed a series of summary executions. Just before they left, they took my father and great uncle outside the front of the compound. Two of them tied my father's hands behind his back and then shot him. Four of them then shot my great uncle. In Mali, Human Rights Watch spoke to a 60-year-old shepherd who had been detained in the Nampala military camp in 2015 and tortured by government forces. They tied me and hung me upside down from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. They asked where the jihadis were. I said, I only care about my animals. Then a soldier forced his gun into my face with force. I lost half my teeth. In South Sudan, rape has been used by all sides to terrorize civilians. Human Rights Watch spoke to a woman in her late 50s who had been raped by a soldier during government operations in February 2019. He started shooting around me and then hit me with his gun and said, Mama, lie down. I want to have sex with you. I said, why would you do this? I'm a born-again Christian and you're like my son. He beat me again and then forced himself on me. In May 2021, Israeli airstrikes destroyed scores of homes and businesses in the occupied Gaza Strip. Jawad Mahdi, 68, lived in a high-rise building there with dozens of family members. All these years of hard work, it was a place of living, safety, children and grandchildren. All our history and life destroyed in front of your eyes. It's like someone ripping your heart out and throwing it. When their communities come under attack, some older people stay to protect their property. Others are unable to flee the violence. In 2017, ethnic Rohingya, who had fled Myanmar, described security forces pushing older people who couldn't flee back into burning houses. I saw them push my husband's uncle into the fire. I saw them push him back into the burning house. He's weak, maybe 80 years. I think they wanted everyone to leave and those that could not leave, they put into the fire. Governments and non-state armed groups should ensure older people in conflict areas are provided with humanitarian assistance and protected from abuse. UN bodies should include protection of older people in armed conflict in their work. <laughs>